The first attack is password guessing. Now with password guessing, the attacker simply attempts to determine what your password is. They can do that through several methods. One is the educated guess. The educated guess is to try to determine information about you that you would probably use as part of your password, especially if you choose your own password. One of the ways that hackers get more information about you is to look at your physical environment, typically a cubicle or office at work, or if they access your home through some way they're physically able to enter it, they'll look at the information there. Internet searches are also another way of finding information about people. Once I have those clues, then I can put together some probable passwords. For instance, if I find from your physical environment that you have a lot of posters of monkeys, maybe I can realize that you, know, you really, really are interested in monkeys. And I can look for things related to monkeys, maybe common monkey names or monkey characters throughout history or in literature or in media that might be incorporated into your password. Other common passwords that we see are the names of people's children, the names of their pets, and these passwords here, user, password, or QWERTY, which is the top row of the left-hand characters on your keypad. One of the other techniques is to use a dictionary attack. A dictionary attack actually consults a file of dictionary words, basically English terms, or if you speak a different language, the dictionary file having common words of that language. And this file has the most common names, even with some variations, and tries every single one. Now, obviously, this isn't an attacker that is sitting down at your keyboard trying to enter all these passwords. This is typically a remote attack, when I'm prompted by maybe a web page or a network share to enter a username and a password. Once the attacker knows your password, they can actually write a script that repeatedly tries to guess multiple passwords. And finally, a variation on the dictionary attack is the brute force. Instead of using pre-selected dictionary words or common words, I actually try every single possible letter, character, and number combination. This can take quite a long time, but in the end, it will work.